It is butcher day for these guys behind me. I don't know if you can see. There they are. We raise about 15 meat birds at a time and we get a new batch every six weeks or so. So that allows us to raise a lot of our meat on limited space on a rental property without putting in buildings or anything like that. It's a fairly low cost way to do it. We just have our investment into the chicks and then the feed. So I'm going to go down to the shed and show you how we do it. This is where our meat birds start out in an old galvanized metal water trough in the hay shed. And we get light in here from the extension cord in the house. So we do about 15 meat birds at a time. There are some others in here that aren't meat birds. The white ones are the meat birds. And there's some yellow buff orpingtons that'll be layers. And some of our blue Americanas that we hatched there will be layers as well if they're females. So we order about 15 meat birds at a time from McMurray Hatchery and we get an order. We space them out at least six weeks apart so that we can rotate because we're on a rental and we don't really have the space for a lot of infrastructure and we don't really want to put permanent infrastructure on a rental property. But this works really well. It's a manageable amount. Since there's only two of us working on butcher day, we can butcher 15 pretty easily by ourselves. So the kids get a little older and can help. And it isn't a whole lot of work to take care of 15 at a time. So in about another week, these will go outside to our chicken tractors. And I'll go out there and show you what those are like. So these chicken tractors we picked up for $50 a piece on the Bitter Online Yard Sale. It's a Facebook page for our area. We keep um, layers in one because they do have nesting boxes in the enclosed side. This one is mostly broilers. These guys are getting butchered today. These tractors get moved every day onto new grass. They just have a rope hooked up on one end so we can pull them. And these guys have been getting a local non-GMO feed that is wheat, barley, and field peas with some minerals. We give that to all of our birds, and then the meat birds also get a little bit of ground corn the last couple weeks. The corn is actually the hardest to find if you don't want GMO. We order some from Azure Standard. We just get whole yellow corn, and we actually grind it up in our Vitamix in the house. We give these guys a couple cups a day. I think if we were buying regular chicken at the store, this would be a more expensive way to do it, besides the labor. But since we like to use it organic, it's a lot cheaper to raise them ourselves. We just use the non-GMO feed that's pretty comparable to a regular conventional feed store feed since we're getting it from the farmer. It's about half, half the price or less of a certified organic feed. It is mostly organic. The farmer just sprays his field every few years for weeds and everything he plants is non-GMO. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to head in the house and start getting everything set up to butcher.